Hi, this is Reza from FF Art Studio. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So we will be doing a very simple way of you can call it modeling or sculpting an eye, human eye using the 3D sphere which you can find in the tool menu. So get the 3D sphere, hit the edit button, make it a poly mesh 3D and let's get started. So I have divided the mesh uh, three times you can see subdivision. You can go to the geometry tab and divide it three times. So as you can check the wireframe, it has enough polygons to work with. So the next thing we'll do is we'll create a mask for the iris and for that uh, we'll select a circular mask for that. Okay. So change the default mask to circular mask and this dragging from the center create a size mask for the iris okay or the colored part of the eye now just invert the selection of the mask and we are good to go okay so basically we'll create an indent uh, invert curvature for the iris to get the shade okay and we'll be using a masking technique for that so we'll scroll down uh, to the masking panel for that okay the masking tab we scroll down and you can see there are various ways how we can edit the mask so i'll be growing the mask so by hitting the grow mask button a few times you can see the mask is growing and it's growing very gradually once we got a desired result select the move tool by hitting w or the gizmo and push it inwards so by doing that we get an indent you can see now it looks like a kind of uh, iris once we are good with that next we'll move on to the pupil so for the pupil with the mask selected we'll keep growing the mask and try to create a sharper a mask in this case for the creating the pupil or the hollow in the eye not i think we need to edit a little more check the reference yeah a little bigger so since we have inverted the mask we'll be thinning the mask to grow it and then sharpen the mask and then obviously again using the transpose tool manipulator or the gizmo we'll push it inside yeah so this looks good so good starting point for basic eyeball so the next step is we'll be adding the specular mesh so basically it will be a cylinder so we'll append it from the subtool menu append a 3d cylinder and then resize it and position it in the eye so that it appears like a speck so just to create the illusion of the speck which falls due to the lighting this kind of speck is normally added in uh, stylized eyes Next step is we are going to append a 3D sphere and now we are going to create the cornea of the eye or the transparent bulging part of the eye in front of the eye. So we'll just resize it, keep checking from the side view also because it will be bulging out a little bit. Once we are happy with that, we need to cut the back side of the cornea. So from the side view, if we make it transparent, hitting the transparent button, then we can see the inner part of the eye as well. We'll delete the inner part. For that, obviously, we'll control shift to get the selection tool. And once we've selected the area, we want to keep. So the rest gets hidden. You can see the cornea. The cornea looks pretty good. Only the cornea. So it's a very simple disc shape, which will be acting as an extra layer. So once you got the cornea and you've hidden the other part of the cornea, you can just delete the hidden part of the cornea so that it does not remain as a stray mesh. So once we have all the pre parts of the eye, eyeball, we're going to mirror it to the other side. So for that, go to Z plugin, go to Subtool Master and hit mirror button. Uh, once you hit the mirror button, uh, you'll get options for the axis and also whether you want to merge it or keep it as separate tool. So for now, I'll be merging the eyeballs with the X selected. Set. So we got the eyeball, next we'll be mirroring the spec. I already have created a shell for the mirror button as you can see. So I'll be just using that for mirroring all the parts. So with this we have all the, the eyes for both the uh, left and the right side. This is a pretty generic and an easy way of creating the eye. Once you get a hold of the masking technique, uh, it will be very easy for you to do it. So you can see I have subdivided the eyes, eyeballs a couple of times to get the smooth bevel kind of effect on the iris. Just let me know in the comments if you have any queries, if you want to know anything. And friends, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you keep getting notifications. So I'll be coming up with more and more videos to guide you through the process of learning 3D modeling in Maya as well as in ZBrush. Thanks.